The illustrious 18 are a series of deviations from basic strategy and blackjack that you utilize when the count, as you're using a high-low count, gets high or low. And so when the count gets high and a situation would normally call for you to hit, you're going to go ahead and stand, whereas when the count gets low and the situation would call for you to stand, you would hit instead. That's a simplified version of it, and I'll go over the chart real quick. Again, you think, what do you do in that situation? And usually they lay out a hand. They tell you the index, and so this is where the true count would be. And sometimes they'll give you the decision. And so in the case of a 16 versus a 10, if the count is at a zero or higher, whereas normally you would hit because you're already probably going to lose, instead you would stand. Of course, in those situations where surrender is an option, surrender would be the way to go. I personally have had a hard time finding places that still allow surrender, but maybe your experience is different, so you'll want to learn those as well. The rest of the video will, of course, be a rundown of each of these indices, so listen and learn. With the dealer ace, conventional wisdom says never take insurance. However, when there is a true count of three or higher, you would take insurance. With the dealer 10 and a true count of zero or higher, you would want to stand instead of hit. With the dealer 10 and the true count at four or higher, you'll want to stand rather than hit. With a dealer five versus a true count of five or higher, you can go ahead and split your tens and deal with the dirty looks of the players all around you. With a dealer six versus a true count of four or higher, you can also split your tens rather than stand. With a dealer 10 versus your 10 at a true count or four or higher, double and don't hit. With a dealer three at the true count of two or higher, stand on your own 12 rather than hit. With the dealer 2 and the true count of 3 or higher, you can stand on your 12 rather than hit. With the dealer ace and a true count of 1 or higher, you can double your 11 rather than hit. With the dealer 2 and a true count of 1 or higher, you can double your 9 rather than hit. With the dealer ace and a true count of 4 or higher, you can double your 10 rather than hit. With a dealer seven and a true count of plus three or higher, you can go ahead and double your nine rather than hit. With a dealer nine and a true count of six or higher, you'll wanna go ahead and stand with your 16, that is, unless you have the option of surrendering. With a dealer two and a true count higher than negative one, you'll want to stand on your 13 rather than hit. With a dealer four and a true count lower than zero, you can go ahead and hit your 12. With a dealer five and a true count of negative two or worse, you would hit rather than stand. With a dealer six and a true count lower than negative one, you'll wanna go ahead and hit your 12 rather than stand. With a dealer three and a true count of lower than negative two, you'll want to hit your 13 rather than stand. 